Hey there folks, I'm Sif on Yeager and welcome back to Only Boss Fights. Today we are going to show you where every cryptic vessel is and how to solve them in Liza P. Plus we are going to tell you what achievement slash trophy this can unlock. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So as you explore the city of Krat, you will find hidden away cryptic vessels. Once solved by Vanini, they will give you instructions how to find the rewards. The first one is the crafted cryptic vessel and this can be found in St. Frangilico Cathedral. As you climb the wooden tower, you will jump between two cogs. In between these, there is a brazier that you can push which will plummet down and set fire to the corrosive gas at the bottom, revealing a secret passage. Head in here and you will find the crafted cryptic vessel. Once decrypted, it will say, strike the puppet hanging from the Alchemist Bridge on Elysium Boulevard. Head to where you fought the mad donkey and rescued Geppetto, and there is a puppet hanging there. Lock onto it and throw a cogwheel at it, and an item will drop out. The item is a key for Elysium Boulevard 221B, a key is enclosed. This is an easter egg to Sherlock Holmes' residence in the books as 221B. Head to the inside the house of Elysium Boulevard Stargazer and exit out the window, cross the plank and there is 221B Elysium Boulevard. Inside you will be awarded with a quartz to upgrade your pea organ and owl doctor's hunting apparel. The second cryptic vessel is the jeweled cryptic vessel and this one is located in the Stella Opera House. You will need to jump off the beam by the swinging lantern to the lower levels next to the trinity door we explained in our last video make your way to the top level via this way kill all the enemies and progress to a room with lots of books and a ladder leading down look around and you will find a ladder leading up to a chest where the jeweled cryptic vessel is once deciphered it will show a picture of an overlook of the crap hotel with orders Check the ground at the end of the cliff of Krat Central Station Street where there is a good view of the ocean and Krat's landmarks. Head to Crescent Alley and make your way back towards the cliff face when you are progressing towards the parade puppet. Once here head to the end till you match the photo. Now use the gesture check ground and you will receive a legion caliber to upgrade your legion arm and the atones hunting apparel. The old cryptic vessel is found in the Baron Swamp by the Baron Swamp Bridge Stargazer. Speak to the rookie explorer Hugo by the gate and ask him about discovered treasure. He will hand over the old cryptic vessel. Once decrypted it will say an old shack in the tomb slums in Malab district. Look for the bleak tree and laundry line and enter the shack next to them. Now travel to the path of the pilgrim stargazer and ride the elevator down. Head to the main gate and take a right. You will see a man standing by the barrel fire. Talk to this man and he will give you the robber's shack key. Enter the shack and avoid the middle of the room because it's a trap. This is an easter egg of patches in all the souls game. Open the chest and you will receive a legion caliber and the life amulet. The rusty cryptic vessel is found from the collapsed street stargazer. Head through the building killing the enemies and when you come out looking over the collapsed street, look down and jump to the chest. Here you will find the special crack supply box. Return this to Polladina at the front desk of Hotel Krat and you can buy the rusty cryptic vessel. To cryptid it would say, find the cave blocked off by metal bars in the barren swamp. There is a reward at the end of the new road. Head back to the barren swamp bridge where you spoke to the rookie explorer Hugo and the cave will be open. Make your way through the cave avoiding the traps and killing the monsters as you go. At the end there's an elite monster which used to be the hermit. Defeat him, head up the stairs and there's a safe. You will be rewarded with the quartz and the black cat's hunting apparel. We're going to skip to the mechanical cryptic cipher because the next one has story spoilers and we'll leave that to the end. 
The mechanical cryptic vessel can be found from the Arch Abbey Broken Rift Stargazer in Chapter 11 on Alchemist's Isle. Make your way through these rooms, killing the enemies till you get to the ladder on the first floor. Head right and kill the enemies in front of you. Once defeated, there is a narrow walkway with an enemy on it. Kill him and retrieve the mechanical cryptic vessel from the chest. For the next part, you will need to make sure you have swapped the reborn champion Ergo, which you got from defeating Victor for the Frozen Feast Greatsword. With the vessel decrypted, head to the abandoned apartment Stargazer and head across the bridge and through the archway while destroying the pillars that cause disruption and the enemies. You will see stairs heading up and there you will find a merchant that was not here before. Equip the frozen feast if you have not already and speak to the merchant. He will give you a quartz and the red fox's hunting apparel. Now for the obligatory spoiler warning, we are going to be talking about an achievement slash trophy, the story of a stranger girl. That is completing the story of Eugenie, so if you don't want to ruin it, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. For everyone else, let's continue. Now if you have completed all the dialogue with Eugenie, you will know Aladora saved her from the collapsed workshop tower and there's something off with this Aladora. Once you have defeated the Black Rabbit Gang for the second time in Chapter 10, continue up the path to find Aladoro. Confront him and he will tell you he is not the real Aladoro and how he killed the real one. Once all dialogue is completed, you can attack him. Killing him rewards you Aladoro's cryptic vessel. Return the hotel and do not speak with Eugenie first. Get Vendini to decrypt the vessel first. It will say, Dear beloved sister, please forgive your brother for leaving you without telling you anything. This will explain that Aladora is Eugenie's brother. Go to Eugenie and tell her that Aladora was her brother and she will say she needs time to think. You will receive the proposal, Flower World Part 1 record. Come back later and talk to Eugenie to unlock the achievement slash trophy, the story of a stranger girl. I hope you found this video both helpful and enjoyable. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. The bigger the channel gets, the bigger the videos will get and the more content we can provide for you wonderful people. You can suggest videos and games you would like to see on either the community page or on X at Siphon Jaeger. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Only Boss Fights. Have an amazing day, you beautiful people.